Columbus here, the undefeated record stand out, but the nine KOs and the 10 wins for the younger, shorter, lighter Hernandez. He's gonna be more agile getting inside. He's gonna have to because Ariels has the reach advantage. Well, he was kind of lost for words and, and he didn't know that. He didn't know about the weight gain and he's taking an early punch there from Hernandez. Well, well, now though, an action-packed round number one met with some powerful shots between these two heavyweights in round two. Attention. But that's where Arias don't want to be there against the ropes. Hernandez letting his hands go again. And that's what, that, that's what. Fighting at close range in the middle of the ring. Body. And try and set up your uppercut on the inside. There's an uppercut from Arias. As we wind things down there in go the five second. uppercuts. <laughs> you see him taking pauses, taking deep breaths, mm -hmm. trying to stay on the outside. I know for myself and at a this lot of stage, other, yeah, right. at this stage, like you look at your opponent, you see a few seconds of him, it doesn't really. He took a nice right hand by Hernandez and he ate it, no problem. Hey, three of those uppercuts from Hernandez right now. And he's countering again. As these two hug it out, and her name. Arias and Hernandez begin round six, and immediately Hernandez coming forward against Arias. Good countering left from Arias upstairs. But again, Hernandez chipping away with those. Close range uppercuts. Enough of those, Hernandez want to stop walking in. That's about six uppercuts that the judges are going to score Arias getting hit with. That's the stain on me. Oh, these punches, these exchanges, they, they look even. Like Corey, you said, this is what's going to cause for a draw. Okay. Big overhand right from Hernandez. The eighth and final round in a match that is kind of been. Nice body shot by Hernandez on the inside. And look. By unanimous decision, still undefeated from the Bronx via the Dominican Republic. Jan 